Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Bauscher and this is my husband. I'm Zach Bauscher. And we're so excited today just to be unpacking a little bit of the story behind the song that we wrote, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So rewind back to um, probably early July. I was sitting in my office, I was at work here and I was sitting in my office and I was honestly having a rougher day and I was journaling and praying and just asking God for him to fill my heart with strength just to make it through the rest of the day and just to see him in my work day, like every moment that I was facing that day, just to see him clearly. And after I finished praying, I turned a new page in my journal and I just started writing down who Jesus was to me, who I knew him to be, who I knew him to be through the gospels, how he's revealed himself through scripture. I started to write that down and my worship was just flowing out onto this page. And that was a moment that I shared with the Lord. And I was sitting there putting melody to it. I think I walked over to the conference room and shut the door and just started playing on the piano some and putting some melodies down to these lyrics and I started singing it and I just kept singing it and singing it and singing it. I was just worshiping the Lord. And at the time, Zach was my fiance and we write songs together all the time. It's really special. And so that was a moment that I shared with the Lord, um, but it turned my day around. Like he took the circumstances that I was in and gave me this song to express my worship to him through. And so it was such a special for moment special moment for me and so I wanted to take that over to my fiance and share it with him and so I took it over to Zach and I needed a little bit more help on some melodies and lyrics and he helped me so much mm -hmm. yeah and I remember you were showing it to me just right from the get-go as soon as you started singing the first like five lyrics I remember just being um, moved and anytime a song starts to move me from right from the get-go I like to pay attention I just could really tell that there was something special there and then obviously I knew that you were having a rougher day throughout the process and um, I just think it was very telling um, and such a gift from God to give creative language that expresses what we know of God beyond what we feel of God in the circumstance and it reminds me of um, Psalm 32 verse 7 I was actually reading this today and uh, reminds me of the gift God has given us in music where this verse it says you are a hiding place for me you preserve me from trouble and you surround me with songs of deliverance and I think um, music is a gift from God and the ability to sing it to write it uh, as a gift that God has given his people to encourage his people and so I think right from the get-go when you write a song and it ends up being called Jesus it's got to be something that glorifies Christ and so I think our prayer with it is that it would just be useful to God, if nothing more for just ourselves and the people that we know who have already begun to sing the song. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. And that, that day, looking back on that song and the moment that I wrote it in, when I sing it now, it constantly takes me back to that place of just desperation that I was in that day. Like, God, I know who you are. I know that you're faithful. I know that you're true. I know that you're constant. And going back to that place and how the Lord just completely, like, just changed, changed my heart and the outlook of my day because I was remembering who God was, what his word says, and that he's coming again for the people that have trusted in him and he is always gonna come through for his people. I feel like that was the song it kind of even turned into, I mean, it's literally the story of the gospel, but just the hope that we have in Christ that he is coming back, he is returning, he's soon returning um, for his people that he loves. And I think it's just as we wrap up, I think the coolest part about that is when you hear the song, you wouldn't expect it to come from a day where you're saying it was really rough and it was not easy for me um, because it's very like, you are holy, you are holy, you are holy. And I think that that is what God gives us to cling to in those moments where maybe we're not feeling that in the day, but we're able to remind our souls through songs that he's given us through scripture um, to get us through life as we press on. But in closing, we just really 
hope that this song ministers to you in whatever season of life you're in. God will meet you there, and He is so faithful, He's so true, and He's worthy of your praise.